Parts of the lower mainland are barely recognizable in the haze. Landmarks like Mount Baker almost impossible to make out. And that soot is coming from forest fires in Washington state. Those fires have prompted a fourth air quality advisory from Metro Vancouver. This is a very exceptional summer. Um, compared to other summers where we've issued one or two. Further east, the haze is much more intense. It's like a fog and it smells like a wood stove. With the Okanagan so inundated with smoke, visibility is dangerously low and air quality exceptionally poor. You can't really breathe without tasting smoke in your mouth. Most of that smoke is coming from south of the border. The Okanagan complex fire in Washington state continues to spread, decimating at least 600 square kilometers of land. The inferno has claimed the lives of three firefighters and has wiped out several homes, some residents barely escaping with their lives. I called my kids. We don't think we're going to get out and uh, that we love them and to tell everybody we love them. Now under a state of emergency with fires just 10% contained, Washington has taken the unprecedented step of training volunteers to work alongside professional firefighters. We needed some help to boost and, and I think we're getting it. Some of that help is coming from BC. A crew of 36 is now on the northeast edge of the Washington fire zone, about four kilometers south of the border. That fire line is staying where it is for now, but this UBC forecasting system shows the smoke those flames produce pushes north, impacting our air. The smoke is expected to start clearing tomorrow, and that's a mixed blessing. It's good news for people affected by poor air quality, but problematic for Washington firefighters. They worry that with clear skies, the flames will flare up even worse. Sandy? CTV's Penny Daftless reporting from Vancouver.